Welcome, I've done some previous videos on this HDMI to USB adapter and I'll put a link in the description to some of those. And I'll also put a link to this on Amazon and eBay and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I did a whole video on using QuickTime with this and I pointed out that you can change the option down here for quality from high to medium. And high will do 720p at 60 FPS and maximum will do 25 FPS at 1080p. So depending on what you want to do, high is better than maximum. So I've been using QuickTime for decades now and I just realized that when you're capturing the screen, you can just slide this bar here to get audio. So if I do that, you can hear this audio. Well, it's probably hard to hear. So we have the audio coming through. I don't know if Nintendo will give a copyright strike for that or not. And I'm playing this off an NES Classic here. So I have that plugged into the HDMI device. And I just wanted to check out a few things. So you can pull this up and then make it full screen. So my screen is set to 720p right now. This laptop will display slightly more than 720p, but I've downscaled it to 720p. So we have it at full screen now, and if you stop moving your mouse, this will disappear. So you can kind of use this like a monitor. So I wanted to check out how well that works. So I have my remote here. I'll press, well, I need to get back to the menu. Let's see. Okay, so I'm on Mario Brothers. I'll hit start. And I'll hit start again. Okay. And now I'll kill the first guy here, or the first two. Oh. Uh, so there's latency in here. I killed myself so I couldn't show you. <laughs> Let's get out here. So watch when I press this now. So there's probably too much latency to play most games on here, especially if you're playing like Xbox or PlayStation. Now if I go down here and switch this to the other mode, maximum, Okay, do that again. Again, a lot of latency there too. So I think high is slightly better, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and play this now, and I haven't played this in a long time. So I'm not trying to get hit, just I'm jumping at the wrong time. If you played this enough, you could probably get used to it, but... There. So you could potentially hook something in here and watch something on this, as opposed to playing a game. So now I'm going to plug a Raspberry Pi in here. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in on this. There we go, I already typed a couple things here. So here I have the keyboard. Let's see if I can get this on the screen at the same time. So you can see there's quite a bit of latency here. Now I have used this to watch video and the audio and video seems to more or less be in sync. It, maybe it's not perfectly in sync, so if you're really sensitive to that kind of a thing, this may not be a good solution for you to do that. So in that case might be if you had a Roku or something, you plugged it in to use this as a monitor. Um, I don't know if this would be a good option for you or not. So I just wanted to test this out. So if you want to game with this, I think there's too much latency to do that with QuickTime, and QuickTime, in my experience, was the fastest of all the different software that I used to, on a Mac, to try this with. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.